Ebbets Field. Chicago Cubs are in here, and this is the Knothole Gang. This is the program where the stars of tomorrow talk to the stars of today. Boys from your neighborhood, boys from mine, get to work out with the Dodgers. We hope you'll enjoy it. Here's Bucky to tell us all about it. Hi, Happy. Well, tonight, Happy, our host for this evening's game, is the seventh largest mutual savings bank in the United States, the Lincoln Savings Bank. The Life Insurance and Savings Bank. Right. The Lincoln Savings Bank right here in Brooklyn. Who are the boys? Also from right here in Brooklyn, Happy, three young shortstops from the St. Bernadette's Little League. St. Bernadette's, a wonderful parish. They've done a great job with their kids. Let's take a look at the gang from St. Bernadette's. Hiya, boys. Yay! All right, glad to see you. Let me have a little microphone. What's your name? Louie Manorino. Louie Manorino. How old are you, Louie? Eleven. Eleven years old. You can sit down now, boys. I'll talk to each one of you in a minute. Louie, how long have you been playing baseball? Three years. You like it? Yes. Who do you root for in the big league? Giants. Giants? You're in kind of a little bit of trouble, aren't you? They'll pull out of They'll it. They'll pull out of it. He's a good fan. You heard him say that. How are you hitting? Uh, about 320. About 320? Yes. We could use a few like you right now, I'll tell you that. Louie, where do you go to school? PS 186. And what are you going to be when you grow up? A baseball player or a doctor. A doctor or a baseball player. You study to be a doctor and maybe the baseball player will take care of itself, right? Yes. Well, as long as you're a giant fan, I don't know how you're going to explain this Dodger cap, but there it is. And here's the Dodger yearbook. Yes, sir, the world's champs of 1955 with all the pictures of the Dodgers in there. And uh, you folks better pick up a copy of it. It's pretty nice. That's for you, Louie. Louie, Louis, what does your daddy do? He makes lady suits, huh? Uh, do you any brothers or sisters? No. Boy, you're the only one. You're lucky, huh? Yeah. All right, who's the man that brought you in here? Ray Amendola, my manager. Your manager, Ray Amendola. Ray, how are you? You can sit down now. Ray, what do you do for a living? I work at a men's sport line. And have you any children of your own? Two children. Any of them playing baseball? Yes, my boy. He plays at a farm team at St. Bernadette. He does, huh? Yes, sir. You like it, huh? Very much. Is he going to be a good boy? Wonderful. Wonderful. Fine. Glad to have him here. What's your name? Vinny Esposito. Hello, Vinny Esposito. How's your team doing? Okay. How are you doing? Okay. Pretty okay. Good. How are you hitting? Pretty good. I have almost 500 batting average. Almost 500 batting average. Boy, that's something. Who do you root for in the big leagues? Dodgers. I'm glad to have a 500 hitter. He's rooting for the Dodgers. That's right. good. Here's his Dodger cap and his yearbook. Vinny, tell me what your daddy does. He works in a factory for women's wear. Uh-huh. Have you any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two sisters. What are their names? Catherine and Joanne. You better wave to them. They'll never forgive you if you go home without waving at them. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy and Joanne. Everything's all right now. That's fine. Now, uh, what are you going to be when you grow up? Mechanic. A mechanic. Where are you going to go to school? Where do you go to school now? The PS201. Fine. You going to pass? Yes. Marks are all right? Good boy. Who's the man that brought you in here? My manager, Do Joe Terragrossa. Joe Terragrossa. Joe, how are you? And very what, well, sir. What do you do for a living? I'm a clerk for the Union Twist Drill Company. All right. We're very happy to see all you here. And, of course, Father Variella, the man that takes charge of things out there. How is everything going out at St. Bernadette's? Oh, very well. Do you have any children? Two boys. Two boys? They playing ball yet? One boy, 11, and the other one, three, plays more than the other one. He does? That's right. Well, we'll look for him in here one day, then. Nice to have you here. What's your name? Richie Liguori. Hello, Richie. What do they call you? Richie? Richie. Richie. How's your team doing? Okay. Who do you root for? Yankees. Well, for goodness sakes, we got a giant, a Dodger, and a Yankee fan here. Now, you'll have to explain your Dodger cap. There you are. Give me his yearbook. Richie? Have you any brothers or sisters? Yes, sir. One brother. One brother. What is he? How old is he? Uh, seven. And does he play ball yet? Oh, he's too young now. He's too young? When's he going to start? Next week? Next, next year. Next year. Okay. Richie, what does your daddy do? He's a trailer driver. Trailer driver, huh? Yes. So you come to watch you play? Yes, sir. All right. Now, that's nice. Uh, where do you go to school? Uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe. That's fine. Now, who's the man that brought you in? My manager, Andy Spudon. Fine. Andy, how are you? Fine, Hap. How are, are you, you boys? Children? Well, yes, sir. Four boys, Hap. Four boys. Well, that's right. Boy, he's got almost a team all by himself. <laughs> I, I, I bet I have. What do you do, Andy? <laughs> I work for more McCormick Lines. I'm in the controller's office as a clerk. How many boys you got playing ball at St. Bernadette's? Oh, we have about 400, 450 boys all together. Isn't that wonderful work? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Yes, Glad sir. to have you with us Thanks, tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Our winner from over in Jersey City last night. Tell him your name. Ronald Ferraris. What league do you represent, Ronnie? Union City Little League. Union City Little League. Who picked you? Jackson. Jackson said, Randy Jackson said he was the best third baseman last night, and he's going down there and talk to Pee Wee, right? Yes. Got a lot of good questions for him? Yes. What'd the gang say when you got home? They congratulated me. Congratulated you. Looked at the bit, I'll bet you. Yes. Huh? Who's that man in back here? My father. We invited him last night. What's his first name? Constantine. Constantine, how are you? 
Glad to see you, Mr. Perry. Are you proud of I'm your play, I guess? glad to be here. Were you home last night? I was, and watching I Watching the television. Watching television. Mama with you? Yes, she was with me. And pretty we proud. We were both very, very happy, and both had tears in our eyes. I'll bet you did. It's wonderful. We're yeah. glad to have you here you. Uh, tonight. What do you do for a living? Retail butcher. I run a market. Glad to have you here. Nice to have you. Well, as you know, we have to have a host and a sponsor on our show. And I've talked to you before about the Lincoln Savings Bank. And, of course, we're very proud of the men that come over here to play host our boys from the Lincoln. You've met many of their trustees on this show. Tonight, we introduce a vice president and trustee of the Lincoln Savings Bank. Mr. Fred Gresh is the president of the Gresh Musical Instrument Company right here in Brooklyn, an old Brooklyn concern. I want you to meet him right now. Hiya, Fred. Hiya, Happy. Nice to, to see, see you. you. The charming lady with you, please. My wife, Happy. Mrs. Gresh, how are you? I hope you're going to see the Dodgers win tonight. I understand there's a little bit of a problem getting you out here tonight. Well, uh, I have a daughter named Happy. She's three years old. No and she said to me, Daddy, don't go down with that Mr. Felton tonight. You stay home with me, because I'll be lonesome. Well, let's say hello to her right now. Hello, Happy. Hi, Happy. From Happy. How are you? That's fine. Well, you've got a nice group of boys to be host to tonight, Mr. Gresh. The Lincoln Savings Bank is honored to be the host to the Bernadette uh, Little League. You know, this, We're delighted. I am, I'm sure you are. This business that you're in, band instrument, there's a great growth of that among our boys and girls today, isn't there? Oh, the band instrument music uh, movement throughout the country has been tremendous, Happy. I understand that uh, actually you people are trying to do the same thing we're trying to do with baseball. If they're playing interested in music, playing in bands, they're not going to get in much trouble, are they? No, we in the music business always say that uh, the boy who blows a horn will never blow a safe. Well, I think that's a very good slogan. Tell me, do we have any outstanding outfits around here that are uh, especially noted? Oh, we have some very fine bands in the metropolitan area. Uh, some fine high school bands at Hempstead High School, at Erasmus Hall High School, at Midwood High School, and Port Washington High School, and many others. And a lot of the junior high schools in the city have very good bands. And even down in the, into the grade schools. Take Public School 225 down in Brighton Beach. They have an excellent band. And you make all the instruments, the Gresh uh, Manufacturing Company or Band Instrument Company, you make all the instruments for the bands? Well, we make or import all the band and orchestra instruments, everything except harps and pianos. Well, isn't that fine? Very interesting. Well, here we are. We're going to go on with the show now, Mr. Gresh. You're going to talk to our boys a little later. But is there anything fine, special happy. that you'd like to say from the Lincoln Savings Bank to our good friends out there? Well, the Lincoln Savings Bank will hope hopes that all you good people will come in to see us. All our, all our people in our five convenient offices will all be very happy to see you and take care of your requirements any time you'll stop in to see us down at any of our branches. All right, and now a little happy. He'll be back in a minute. He's not going away, all right? Let's get on with our show. Thank you, Fred. Now let's look at the boys, and it's warm-up time number one. Louis Come on, Louis, a little hustle. Right there, Louis. Oh, don't throw it through the old man here. Number two. Come on, Vinny Esposito. There we go. boy. Number three. Richie McGlory. All right, Richie, big smile there. They're looking at you, not me. That's the idea. Come on in, fellas. Line right up here now. Turn around. I think you're going to get a big kick out of this. You're going to be judged tonight by one of the greatest baseball players I ever saw. I'm a little older than you, but I think it'll hold up. His name's Jackie Robinson. Is that all right? Yes, sir. All right, now, when he comes in, you just introduce yourself. Here's Jackie. Let's give him a nice hand. Bring him in. Hi, Jack. Many, many times on our knothole gang, and always gracious and always glad to have you here. Our boys are from St. Bernadette's Parish, the Little League. Introduce yourself, fellas. Hi, Jack. Louis Manorino. Hi, Louis. Nice meeting you. Hi, Jack. Vinny Esposito. Vinny, nice meeting you. Hi, Jack. Richard Aguri. Hi, Richard. Nice meeting you. They all have questions, so come on. You start off, Louie. Jack, my question is, I'd like to know who gives the signal on a pitch out. On the pitch out, the catcher yes. gives the signal, uh, yes. Um, they have to get together all the time, the catcher and the pitcher. And you, you, as an infielder, will note the catcher will always have a sign and tell you exactly when their pitch out is coming so you'll know what base to cover and everything else. Thanks. Right? Okay. You all got to work together. Run right. out there, Louie. Jackie's okay, going to give you a good workout now. Oh, hurry now, Louie. Here we go. Louie Manorino, 11 oh, years old. Keep your eye on it. Stay right down on it now, Louie. Stay right down on it. That a boy. That's the boy. Keep your eye right on it. He goes at that ball very nice, Ham. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
Stay right on it now. Atta boy. Atta boy, Louie. After this one, cover the base, Louie. <laughs> Atta boy. On the base now. On the base. Atta boy. Up in the air. Let's climb up in the air. Got good motion for a little league. Stay right on him now. Atta boy, Louie. One more on the ground, you bring him in. All right. All right. Now charge this, Louie. Charge it now. Stay down on it. That's, That's the way to do it. Give him a nice hand. Bring him in here. All right, Louie. Vincent, you're next. What do you want to ask Jackie? Well, Jackie, I'd like to know if there's a man on first and second, and there's a fly ball hit to the outfield, there's a big wind, in the, and it blows the ball towards the infield. The first baseman's under it, but the outfielder yells him to keep off. The outfielder dies the ball, but he doesn't get it. The ball, and the ball goes into the outfield. All three men score. I would like to know, are there any outs? And if, uh, if there are, how many men score? Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, Vinny, the, the, you, you've got a question here now that we've got to think about. If there are men on first and second and less than two outs, then with the first baseman under the ball, the umpire will automatically call an infield fly ball. Therefore, the, uh, the fellow to hit the ball is out because with men on first and second, there's a rule that says an infield fly ball. Now, if the ball gets by and rolls to the outfield and the other two runners score, they can score. But the man that hit the ball is out automatically because of the infield fly ball if there are less than two, uh, less than two outs. Okay? okay? Right? Whoa, boy, that was something. Here we go. All right, Vincent Esposito, 12 years old. All right, Vinny, Here we go, Vinny, a lot of pep. Ah, boy. Oh, oh, here we go. Never mind. Right. A little while. He's a little nervous. Just take your time now. Free and easy. Ah, boy. That's the boy. Stay right on it now. Look at it all the way. Atta boy, man. How old are these kids, Ab? He's 12 years old. First boy was 11, the next boy's 12. They're little leaguers. Yeah, they have good motion, so good action. Up. Go get it. Go get it, Vinny. Hurry. That's it. Atta boy, Ben. All right. Stay right on it now, Ben. All right, get him on the bag now. On the base, Ben. Come on now. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Get over and on it. Pick it up. Don't worry. Stay Keep right your head on down. It, ben. Nervous, yeah, they're nervous. Stay yeah, right after on all, it. he's the only player on a big league field working out with Jackie Robinson. That a boy. That a boy. That's the way to throw it. That a boy. Big high fly ball now, and then we'll bring right. it in. Right on it, Ben. Keep your eye on it now. Bring him in. All right, come and charge this one now. Very good. Give him a nice hand here. Attaboy. Richie, Richie Ligori, he's next. I'd like to know when, when the best time to steal. Well, Richie, uh, the best time to steal is when you can get the good break on that pitcher. And uh, I think the best time to find out how to get that break is when you're sitting on the bench and watching one of your teammates trying to get a lead off of the pitcher. And if you do that, perhaps you can note in the delivery something that goes wrong. He's going to throw home. He'll make a certain kind of move. When he throws first, he'll make a certain kind of move. And if you can pick that flaw up, then you'll be able to get a little better jump. So you've got to observe when you're sitting on a bench. And don't wait till you get on the base. Okay? All right. All Richie, right. let's see you out there now. A little pep. Richie Ligori, 12 years old. And will you look at that? The back of his shirt, he's sponsored up. by the Lincoln Savings Bank. They don't mind that now. Nice arm. Stay right on it now. Stay right with it. Atta boy. Stay right with it. That's the way to follow it. Over on it now. Atta boy, Rich. Over this side. Atta boy. Real good action. Keep your eye right on it now, Rich. Atta boy. Over the other side. One more up there. On the base this time now, Rich. Keep your eye on it now. Atta boy. Stay on it. Atta boy. Okay. Now you can bring him in, Jack. All right, charge this one now, Rich. Charge it, Richie. Charge this one now. Oh, what? Bad, bad bounce. Bad it's bounce. A bad hop, all right. Here we go. Get this Come one on out. in Come now, on. Come on. Come on. Stay right on it now. That's 
away. Give him a nice hand. Bring him in here. The ball says best shortstop tonight, June 26, 1956. Happy Felton's not whole game. Jack, you've done this for so many years, I don't have to explain it to you, but I want to explain to our audience. Pick out Louis Manorino, Vincent Esposito, Richard Ligori. Sign his name, you sign it. When you come back, tell all the boys why you picked the fellow that you did. We'll do that. Thank right. you very much. Look here, fellas, and back up. Big league equipment, Louisville Sluggers, Duke Snyder model, Jackie Robinson Thanks, model. Cap. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thanks, Cap. Are you all in the right order here now? Okay, look at these. Duke Snyder gloves. Thanks, Cap. You like that, boys? Yeah. All right. Happy, now here's Mr. Gretsch. He has something for the boys from the Lincoln Savings Bank, a brand new savings account. Fine. I'll get the uh, yesterday's Oh, win yeah, get yesterday's winner in here. Come on over here now. You can stand right here beside me. Boys, ahead, it's a pleasure and an honor to present each of you with a savings bank book representing an account in the Lincoln Savings Bank that has been taken out in your name. I hope that you will start to save and add to your account in the Lincoln whenever possible. You know, a savings account can be mighty, mighty handy. For instance, you might need some new baseball equipment one of these days. Or maybe you might want to take a summer vacation down at the Dodger, Dodger Town Camp down at Vero Beach. <laughs> well, if you've got a little money saved up in the bank, then it's easy. But I want to congratulate each and every one of you. I want to congratulate you for myself and for the Lincoln Savings Bank. And now here I have the bank books for you. Louis, Louis Manorino. And uh, Vincent Esposito. Thanks, thanks, sir. And Richard Liguri. Congratulations. And here I have one for you, Ronald. I saw you last night. You were very good. Very right. good. Right. All right, Mr. Grash, I want to tell you how nice it's been having you on the show. They're all loaded up now. You got all your stuff, boys? What'd you do with your bank book? All right, you add to it. Fred, thank you for being on the nice show. Nice to be having you here. Right. Thank you. Right All right, let's have Jack come in now and listen closely to this. Happy Jack? I, I always get a kick out of coming on, you know, because to see these kids develop down here in your program always gives us a big thrill. And the fellows talk about it quite often, and uh, we really get a big kick because we know that you're doing a great job for these youngsters. And uh, to watch these kids develop like this and uh, trying to pick one of the three is a tough job, but... Uh, as you watch him, you notice that uh, perhaps Lewis, in this particular case, Lewis Manorino, in my opinion, was just a little bit better on the charge of the ground balls and the way he threw. The other three, two fellows, as I say, it was awfully tough choosing, but uh, I hope that they're not disappointed because they certainly have potential, and if they keep practicing, they can be good ball players. They're all going to be good ball players. Thank you, Jack. Let's shake hands with their congratulating you, him. Fellas. Thank right. you, Jack. Nice seeing you. That's okay, wonderful. Well. Thank you very much, Jack. Good luck tonight. Now, Louie, you come on in here. You go up with Mr. Gresh, boys. I want to talk to you. You pretty proud of that? Yes, Happy. I should think you would be. Hold on to it. Thanks. Louis, it says the best tonight. Louis Manorino signed Jackie Robinson. Now, you get to come out here tomorrow to see the big game of the Cubs. Who are you going to invite to My come? My father. You think he's looking in? Yes. Take your hat off. Here we go. You're going to come, Dad? Dad, you better be here. I'll tell you. We'll look for you tomorrow. Okay. Who do you want to talk to? Pee Wee. He wants to talk to Pee Wee Reese. You get the questions. Okay. Pee Wee will be ready for you. All right, Louis. Nice to have you. Pee-wee's ready for this fella, Hap, Ronald Ferreras. He's yeah, all well, set. Well, if I were a young fella and I wanted to, to talk to an infielder, I think I'd want to talk to Lewis Ferreras. Pee -wee myself. He's about the most popular of all, Hap, isn't he? Yeah, the captain. Now, as we get down the field, you follow us, and we'll meet Pee-wee down at the dugout. As we walk down the field here, I'd like to remind all of you nice folks that the Not Whole Gang operates through organized sandlot leagues. In other words, Little Leagues, Kiwanis League. YMCA, P-A-L, C-Y-O. They write in to us, they write to me, I should say, and ask for a date. And then we give them a date to come out to Ebbets Field. And the boys are picked by their coaches, not by me. Then, once they're in here, the ball player picks a boy. And then the boy, in turn, gets to talk to any ball player on the Dodger roster that he'd like to. Only here at Ebbets Field do you find the Knothole Gang. And I want you to pay a special attention at the end of our show to our list of sponsors, hosts, we call them, they make our show possible. Remember them, will you? Here we go. We're right here now. We're going to turn right around here. There's your man. Come on, right around. Oh, we're going to look over that way. See, there's the camera over there. Here's Pee Wee all ready to come on out and say hello to you. Introduce yourself. I'm Ronald Ferraris. Hello, Ronald Pee -wee. Ferraris. A little turn around there, weren't you, Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's down here. He's all the way over from Jersey. He was picked last night by Randy Jackson. Now, it's your party. You go ahead, Ronnie. Ask Pee Wee anything you want. Well, what's the best way to bunt for a sacrifice and bunt for a hit? Well, uh, Ronald, uh, the best way to bunt, I, I patterned myself after Phil Rizzuto. He was the best bunter that I've ever seen in baseball. And all he does, I've talked to him quite a bit about it, and I do it. I'll, I, I try to wait as long as I possibly can. 
By that I mean by the, when the pitcher lets the ball go. And I drop this foot back. And the bat goes down in the same motion, just like this. Now that's to try to beat out a base hit. When you're trying to sacrifice, I don't give myself up. I just wait to the right the last minute, just like I'm going to hit the ball. But the main thing is to get this big part of the bat out in front of you. See what I mean, Ronald? Don't get it back in here. Get it out in front of you like this. And just and right here is what you, where you hold the bat. And here, when you, when you get ready to bunt the ball, you just act like you're going to catch it. Just catch it with the bat like that. But get this out in front of you, okay? If you want to pull a, a ball into right field and you're a righty batter, how do you do it? Right-handed hitter. What I try to do is 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 wait a little bit longer on the ball. Now, if you're going to if you're going to pull the ball to left field, you try to hit the ball out in front of you and turn this right hand over. But when you're going to hit the ball to right field, you try to hit the ball in back. Just wait a little bit longer on the ball. Just wait a little bit longer, and you don't break your wrist. You just kind of shove the ball like that. See what I mean? Okay. Well, what's the toughest play for a third baseman? The toughest play for a third baseman. Uh, what I have observed is a ball that's that's top where he has to come in and he has to feel the ball with his bare hand and throw the ball to first base in all one motion. You know what I mean? There's no other way you can make the play except just catch the ball barehanded and throw it in all in one motion. And another tough play for a third baseman is to go go to his right over the bag and he has to be able to brace himself and make that long throw. We had a fellow here but a few years ago uh, happy that could make them all. A fellow named Billy Cox. Cox was yeah. the greatest I've ever seen on making the making the, the the slow hit ball and the ball hit over the bag also. How should you shape a, an infield glove like? Shape an infield glove. Well, Ronald, the best thing you can do to a to a glove is to play in it. Now, I, there's a lot of people like to break in a glove a different way. Uh, they like to break it in this way. Billy Herman always broke his glove in like this. But just get the glove so that it's that it's loose, that it isn't yeah. stiff on you. No. Uh. -uh. So what I like to do is to, is to catch the ball in here. Some outfielders catch the ball in here. But if you catch it in here, it's easy to get out. Now, if you catch that ball up in the web sometime, it's tough to get out. But I would say just break the glove in, just play in it, and keep, keep hitting in the ball, if you, in the glove. If you want to put a ball in it and wrap it up like that and leave it over, and it gives a little form to it. But just play in it, Ronald. That's all you have to do. Uh, care for a glove. Uh, how should you oil it? And well, any kind of oil will be all right. Uh, olive oil or just uh, plain mineral oil. Any kind of oil will be fine. Now, I don't do it, put anything on mine at all. Because when you, when you play in it and you start catching a few balls and beating it, the, the perspiration from your hand will make that glove supple again. And it'll get a little stiff, but after you once put it on your hand, it'll be all right. If it gets too stiff, put some oil on it. Doesn't I have to interrupt now. Did you have a good time, Ronnie? Yes. Oh, you're going to go over on the bench now, and Pee Wee's going to take you over there. You'll take care of him, won't you? I sir. They want the autographs, and if you have any more questions, Pee Wee will answer him. Go over and meet the Dodgers. We're glad to have you here. He's a nice boy. Yes, he has my ball. Well, we'll get that too. Don't worry about it. We'll get Pop and he's got ball? his father. He's got the ball, but he'll get it. Well, we'll go over and meet the players anyway, Ronnie. All right. Okay. Fine, Ronnie. Big day for Ronnie. All excited. Big day for me. Hope you enjoyed the show. I get a kick out of it every night. Well, right now we want to remind you that the Knothole Gang is brought to you by the Charles Chrysler Company. That's your authorized Oldsmobile dealer at 46th Street and Park Avenue in Manhattan. The Lincoln Savings Bank, the Life Insurance and Savings Bank, right here in Brooklyn. And the Vegas stores throughout New York, Brooklyn, New Jersey, and Long Island. We want you to remember them. They make the Knothole Gang possible. I'll be here right after the game with Talk to the Stars, brought to you by Filler Tip Tarrant. Stay with us, will you? I'll see you then. Now, the Dodger Cub game, followed by Talk to the Stars with Happy Felton. Go ahead. Douse your hair with water, but protect against dry scalp each day. Vaseline. Vaseline hair tonic puts back oil, water washes away, keeps you well-groomed all day. Vaseline hair tonic. See that crazy new Flying A commercial? Drive every day under the wings of Flying A. The gasoline that keeps your motor clean. It's the cleaner. For concentrated power, fill up your tank with Flying A. Most powerful local gasoline, Flying A. 